Place one hand on your stomach and the other on your chest. As you inhale, allow your chest to rise gently towards your chin and your abdominals will extend naturally. Drop your head a little towards the heart, gently stretching your neck and spine. Allow your attention to rest at the heart. Now pause the breath at the top of the inhalation. As you exhale, contract and draw in the abdominal muscles. Let the chest settle naturally. At the base of the exhalation, pause the breath again. There, you successfully lengthen all four phases of the breath. Sitting with your legs hip width apart, lift your arms out to the sides in a slow circle until your hands are touching above your head. Look up, see the hands. Lower your arms to your sides and rest. When your arms go up, your chest expands and fills with air. When your arms go down, your rib cage settles and the air in your lungs is expelled. As you release your breath, you are making room for new breath. And as you inhale, allow the stillness of that newly received breath to be. Now lower your arms to your sides and notice that your breath is leaving you. As you exhale, your stomach lifts inward and upward. As you are moving, you are breathing naturally and your breathing is corresponding to the movement of your arms. In the brief moment of that stillness, at the end of the exhalation and inhalation, you are truly intimate with yourself. In fact, the entire breathing cycle in conjunction with your body's movement is an action of intimacy. Enjoy it. It is a wonder. Standing with your feet hips width apart, begin your inhalation and raise your arms above your head. Exhale slowly and lower your arms. Let the breath lead the way. Inhale. When your arms reach each other above the head, keep inhaling. Exhale and let the exhalation continue after your arms are at your sides. Inhale and remember to let it last longer than the movement. You have just created an envelope of breathing around your body. The breath begins the movement and extends beyond it. Your breath has embraced your movement. This embrace enhances the intimacy of your practice. The movement of your body, the gentle upsweep of your arms are completely surrounded by breathing. Pause at the end of your inhale and exhale and let this be. Begin by inhaling and raising your arms above your head. Gently arch your back. As you exhale, bend forward from the hips, leading with the chest, and draw a wide circle around your body with your arms. Inhale, keeping your neck flexible, letting your head relax. Look up at your palms cupped together. 
Exhale, keep your knee joints loose and let them bend as much as needed. Now inhale, as your arms and breath take you back up, the curvature of your spine should be smooth from base to crown with no angles. Swan dive back down, remembering that the breath starts and ends the movement. Your fingers may touch the floor or rest somewhere upon your legs. Inhale, maintaining your center of gravity through the soles of your feet. Remember, the body movement is the breath movement. One last time, extend into a comfortable back arch with your hands above your head. Arch your back, look up at your hands, and this time as you exhale, gently cup your hands together and lower them until they're over your heart. Lower your head slightly and enjoy a few resting breaths. Take a comfortable yet strong stride forward so that one foot is placed ahead of the other. Both feet are hips width apart and there is equal weight in the front and back of your feet. Inhale with your arms by sweeping them up into a mild back arch. Exhale while bending forward, tracing your arms around your body. Inhale and allow your arms to open the chest, still allowing your shoulders to feel spacious and loose. Exhale and allow your knees to loosen. Your fingers touch the floor on either side of the front foot. Inhaling back up, most of the arch should be felt in the upper back and the front of the upper chest. Stepping forward with the exhale, abdominals in and up towards the spine. Inhale, back arch, keeping the elbows and wrists soft. Exhale, gently cup your hands together and lower them until they're over your heart. Standing with legs parallel, move your feet wider than hips width apart. Inhale, raising both arms to shoulder height. As you exhale, twist and take your left hand as low as possible outside the right foot. Inhale as you lift and return to standing. Exhale, keeping all the joints loose. And inhale with your arms outstretched, keep your chin lowered to your lifting chest and your head lowered to your heart. There should be equal weight through the front of each foot and keep the toes active, lightly gripping the floor. Loosen the knees and turn to look at the hand outstretched behind the body. Gradually lengthen the pause after exhalation as you proceed through your practice. You should always stay in the natural elasticity of the body and the breath. Don't go beyond what the body can do. It will eventually find its own way there.
With your knees slightly apart, placed underneath the hips, and your hands placed in front of your shoulders, you are on all fours like a cat. With the exhalation, extend your hips smoothly back towards your feet, keeping your hands and arms outstretched. Now inhale. Spread each finger and push down firmly through the index finger and thumb. On the exhalation, draw on your belly and move the hips back into the crouch position, extending your tailbone back. On the inhalation, come back onto all fours simultaneously dipping your belly so your collarbones and tailbone are The forward folding of the body serves to tuck the belly in and up and push the breath out. It serves the exhalation. The unfolding of the body in the back arch serves the inhalation. Inhale and raise onto your shins. Sweep your arms around the body until they raise above your head. Exhale and draw on your stomach, folding forward from the hips. Sweep your arms behind you. Inhale and let the breath lead the movement as the arms reach skyward. Exhale forward and place palm in palm to the small of your back. Rest completely at the base of the movement. Now inhale and using the strength of your inward breath, come up onto your shins. Exhale and relax completely into the space between the breaths. You will be crouched like a child, the universal playful and prayerful position. With your hips and pelvis on the floor, draw your knees in toward the body. With the inhalation, float the knees up and away from your body. Extend your legs above you as your arms extend behind your head. Exhale as you draw the knees back in towards the chest. Keep your shoulders relaxed and connected to the floor. Remember, never lose the connection to the breath. Lying on your back with your feet hips width apart, inhale and lift your pelvis as your arms come over your head. Exhale and lower your pelvis to the floor as your arms come down to the sides of the body. Increase the pause after each inhalation. Be sure that the breath starts and ends the movement.
Inhale, lying with your back and shoulders on the floor and raise both arms up and over your head. Exhale and bring both arms gently back down over your head to the sides of your body. Some people can reach the floor behind the head while others may simply go where they can without strain. This should feel comfortable to you. Pause and inhale. Extend your arms again and you can increase the length of pauses after inhalation and exhalation as you go. Experiment with this. The pauses should not compromise the length of the inhalation or the exhalation. To put the legs above the trunk is very helpful to the heart and the whole cardiovascular system. There is only one illness, stress, which manifests as many illnesses. So de-stress every day and you will optimize your health. Lie comfortably on your back and let the body release and relax, supported entirely by the ground beneath you. Relax your legs, which should be spread hips width apart, and allow your feet to fall gently to the sides. Relax your arms a little way from your body, with your hands turned palm side up, approximately 12 inches from the sides of the body. Relax each finger and each toe, rest each limb in the whole body. Rest the body in this context of stillness. Let your attention move through the whole body, surrendering each part as you do. Think of everything you don't need for wellness and visualize it leaving the body, flowing out of the ends of your arms and legs like radio waves to infinity. And for a moment, let your attention rest in the crown or even above the crown. Rest the whole body in the flow of life. The more you surrender to the ground, the more you'll feel supported by the ground. And the more you surrender to life, the more you'll feel supported by life. And you are completely supported by life.